Well, tonight is the night for the public to know more about a newly formed Central Iowa Water Works. It would be a collection of Central Iowa water suppliers that would be municipal cities and two rural water systems. WHO 13's Roger Riley has been checking into exactly what this new water system is and what it would mean for customers. Roger. Yeah, Lindsay, you know, from a customer standpoint, they say it should be seamless. You know, customers really won't notice a difference. You turn on your tap, water's still going to come out. As usual, you'll get a bill for it, too, from the same place. The hope is by banding together all these uh, water entities, it will save money and make sure water is there when it's really needed. You know, the main thing driving this is that the suburban communities now um, consume or we buy 55% of the water produced in the metro. So Des Moines Water Works is they're not the main customer anymore. And so the suburban communities want to have a more of a voice in how retail rates are being set. Now that's Christina Murphy of the West Des Moines Water Works. She said the new utility will be the like the wholesaler getting the water and delivering it to the cities. The cities, for example, in West Des Moines would still send a bill and fix a broken water main. Uh, the hope is that this will have water redundancy, so there's always a supply to help the region to plan and for the long term as the metro grows, they'll also be uh, projecting a money savings by this move. Ted, Gor Ted Corrigan is the CEO of the Des Moines Water Works. He said there are three main reasons behind this idea of the Central Iowa Water Works. So one is best management of the available water resources. Two is fair and equitable distribution of the costs of producing water. And three is really resiliency, making sure that we're able to provide water to everyone when they need it. Uh, tonight there will be two hearings in the Metro, just public meetings to answer questions. Des Moines Water Works will be holding a public meeting uh, from 6 to 8 tonight at the Southside Library on Porter. Over in West Des Moines, their meeting will be from 6.30 to 8, and that will be at the Valley Junction Activity Center there at 217 5th Street in West Des Moines. So if people want to know more, uh, there'll be some more formal proceedings later as they get this organization off the ground. A lot of questions to answer, but the bottom line is they're trying to plan for a growing metro and make sure there's water and at a good price that everybody uh, agrees to. Yeah, very interesting, Roger. Like you said, kind of a lot of behind the scenes that you just don't always you think about. Thank you for that report.